Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Be True, and with patch 1.0.5 just around the corner, I'm sure a lot of you have questions about the Infernal Machine uh, and what all is involved with it. So today I'm going to say, show you everything that you need to know on how to make the Infernal Machine once patch 1.0.5 is released. Now, the first thing that you have to do uh, is you have to get three keys and the Infernal Machine plan. All right. Now, these are for you get these from drops from key wardens. Okay, that's what they're called. Now, the first key is found in Act One in the Fields of Misery. All right. Uh, you'll know it's the key warden because their name says key warden. So, Act One, Fields of Misery, gives you the first key. Second key is in Act Two in the Dalgor Oasis. Okay. Act th or key three is in Act Three in the Stone Fort. And then finally, you find the plan for the Infernal Machine from the Terror Key Warden in the Silver Spire Level 1 in Act 4. Alright, now, it's important to remember that the Key Wardens will spawn in every Inferno game. However, the drops, I mean getting these keys, is not 100% guaranteed. Uh, there's been people who, you know, they'll kill the Key Warden up to 10 times and still not get the key. So it does require a little bit of farming. It's going to require some time to get the three keys and the plan. But once you get the three keys and the plan, you have to go back to New Tristram, and there's a new area uh, off to the side right where the healer is called the Heretic's Abode. Okay. Now once you get there, uh, you combine the three keys and the plan, and it'll open up the portal into uh, there's three different portals uh, now this costs twelve thousand dollars to open twelve thousand gold to open the portal okay this is blizzard's attempt at a gold sink to try and remove some of the gold from the economy and make gold more valuable uh, hopefully with enough people doing this uh, it will lose you know we'll lose a lot of gold from the economy and it'll raise the price of gold but uh you know that's all speculation right now but once you open up the portal uh, there's three different portals that have a potential to open, and it's all random. The first is the realm of Discord. Okay, now in this realm, uh, you get the Uber boss, but you don't just get one; you get two at a time. So in the realm of Discord, you'll get King Leoric and Magda Uber versions, right? So more health, more damage. You know, a lot stronger than what they are normally in Inferno. The second is the realm of turmoil which is the Siege Breaker and Zoltan Cool. Okay? The third is the Realm of Chaos, which is Gom and Rachnoth, which is obviously the hardest of the three realms that will open. Now, this machine only opens one portal at a time. And once you open a portal, the your three keys in the plan are gone. So you have to go out and you have to farm for the keys in the plan again, uh, recreate another portal, open up another realm uh, in order to make the hellfire ring which is the the whole purpose of making this the hellfire ring is a ring that you can make uh, once you get the three crafting materials necessary and they are the vengeful eye the devil's fang and the writhing spine okay you need those three things to make a hellfire ring now i'm not entirely sure if you get each one from the different realms yet or if any three can drop from any realm Okay, that's not that hasn't been confirmed yet. Nobody entirely knows that yet. So, uh, and those are also not guaranteed. So you can kill the Uber bosses multiple times and not get any of the drops. That's why this is going to take a lot of farming and time to to create. If you want to get one of these Hellfire rings, and then on top of that, once you get a Hellfire ring, there's no guarantee that you're going to actually get something that's useful to you. Uh, the Hellfire Rings, you, there's four that you can choose. Uh, the Hellfire Ring of Intelligence, Strength, Vitality, or Dexterity. And you get to choose which one you want. Uh, now, if you choose one with the primary stat, it's going to give you increased bonus experience of 35%, which is very valuable. 170 to 200 of your main stat. So if we're doing strength, it would be 170 to 200 strength. Uh, and each one of them comes with a chance to launch an explosive ball of hellfire when you attack. Uh, now, nobody really knows what that means yet, 
but I'm guessing it's going to be, you know, like a, a proc attack that does a ridiculous amount of damage, hopefully. And then with them comes four random magic properties. Now, those four random magic properties could be godly, or they could, you know, be like health, like gold pickup and regenerate health and life on kill and stuff that just doesn't matter. So, even after you make one of these, uh, you're going to have to make it a few times before you get anything that's really good unless you're like get really lucky. So, all in all, this is going to take a lot of time to get something, you know, that you really, really need in, in the Hellfire Ring. Because you have to farm the keys in the plan. You have to kill the uber bosses multiple times to get the different uh, components for the rings. And then you have to craft the rings multiple times in order to get something good. So it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of farming, and it's a pretty good end game, uh, you know, expansion to, uh, to what we have right now. Uh, you have to buy the design for the Hellfire Rings from Squirt the Peddler in Act 2, the little girl. It's uh, $2 million to buy the design, but once you get the design, you teach it to the jeweler, and he knows it for good. Now, uh, so once you get these portals, okay, you kill the bosses, and then you get the, theoretically, you get the different, three different crafting materials, and then you craft these rings, okay? Now, the, the amount of times you're going to kill these bosses, like I said, nobody really knows. It's, it's got a chance. You know, you could get the three different uh, components within three times. You could kill the bosses 30 times and not get one. So it's just how it's going to be. It's going to take a lot of time and a, and a lot of planning. Now, these rings are account bounded, meaning uh, once you get them, it's yours and only yours. You can't give it to somebody else. Uh, you can't sell it. It only is for you, like the components for uh, the plan of uh, the Infernal Staff for the pony level. You can't do anything with these. Uh, they sell for about 2,000 gold, but, I mean, for what it takes to, to make one of these and to get all this stuff, it's really not worth it to sell them at all. And you can only give them to uh, vendors. You can't give them to anybody else. So there's one thing that you're going to need to... You know, no, don't be out there trying to farm these to sell because I'm sure these would sell for a lot of gold, uh, which is why Blizzard is keeping them out of the economy and trying to make them account bounded at all. So, uh, just to kind of go over everything one more time Key 1 is in the Fields of Misery in Act 1, Key 2, Dalgor Oasis in Act 2, Key 3, Stone Fort Act 3, Infernal Machine Plan is uh, Silver Spire Level 1 in Act 4. The Key Wardens will always spawn. They're not guaranteed to give you the keys or the plan. Go to the healer uh, in Dune Tristram in Act 1. Create the portal. Uh, you'll either get King Leoric and Magda, Siegebreaker and Zoltan Cool, or Gom and Rakanoth. Once you make, you can only get one portal at a time, and the portal will stay open for the entire game uh, until you leave. And then you have a chance of getting the three different components: the Vengeful Eye, the Devil's Fang, and the Writhing Spine. And then you can craft a Hellfire Ring. So I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, you know, you guys can start planning a while as to what you're going to have to do to get these rings if it's something you're interested in. Uh, these things will definitely be a, a huge bonus to anybody trying to get to Paragon level 100. Uh, anybody who you know needs some needs some help, and they also have with uh, having up to 200 on the primary stat. These rings could, if you get the right rolls on the right attributes, I mean, these rings could be the best possible rings in the game. Uh, or you could get a terrible roll, and they could be absolutely nothing better than you know just experience so i hope this helps you guys out uh let me know if there's anything else you need to know about patch 1.0.5 um i don't yet know the release date so don't ask that but anything else i can help you guys out with uh just let me know and i will uh, have a great day everybody and happy farming see ya